guys, it's Ebony Glam. Today I'm going to be doing a highly requested makeup tutorial look um, from one of my subscribers. Hi Sonia, um, yeah so I will be doing the green makeup that I had in my piercing video for you all today. I um, will be putting the products I use in the down bar so check them out if you want to buy anything that I use in this video. I've already primed my face with um, Makeup Revolution's Pro Base Aqua Priming Base Spray. It's uh, really good for dry skin. I get dry skin and sometimes an oily T-zone, so it really helps with me not having such dry skin when I apply my foundation. I've also put on Eye Primer, um, but that is no longer made. It's been discontinued, so I won't put that in the down bar for you because you won't be able to get a hold of it. I'm already very sad because when it runs out, I'm going to cry. Uh, heads up straight away guys, I am not a beauty guru, I don't have proper camera equipment, I am filming on my S7 Edge for you guys, so until I can save up for a camera, this is the best I can offer, so I do apologise, but what are you going to do? Right, so as I said, I've already primed my face, usually when I do my makeup, I start with my eyebrows, I will start with my eyebrows today, because I'm doing a high, um, a heavy makeup look. So the heavy eyes may cause fallout. So in order to stop that, I do my eyes first. Before I do my face, I have my mirror here. So I will be concentrating a lot on my mirror. But I will make sure that I give you all a close-up um, as I'm doing things right. So I like to do my eyebrows by drawing around them to start with. And drawing on a shape that I'm happy with. If you don't have eyebrows because you shave them off, then obviously do your normal brow. And then when I get to the front, I just use. I don't add any more product to my brush, I just use what's left um, from the applying of the eyebrow product on the ends. So. I have a loose hair, I do apologise. Right, so that's one out eyebrow done. Today I am using the MUA Lux um, brow brow gel. It's called the Power Brow. It's in the shade Mid Brown. It's I think it's the perfect shade for people with red hair. I naturally have red hair. I'm in between trying to get this black out. There'll be a video on the struggle for this at some point. Um, and it's also, I think, quite a good shade if you have quite dark blonde hair because it's a um, nice neutral shade. Right, so we're going to be going on to the other brow. You don't need much product. I've had this for a while and I haven't used that much of it, to be honest.
then you're going to want to take your favourite concealer. Mine is just a MUA cover and concealer. It is the lightest concealer I have found so far on the market. And it's really, really cheap. I think I paid £2 for this. And it's in the shade Fair. And as you can see, it is very, very light. Because I have very pale skin. And we're going to use that. Along with a very thin very very thin brush I, I like to de-dust my brushes before I use them because they go in a cup in a um, storage box to make sure that they haven't got any dust on before I apply it to my face so I've de-dusted my brush just applying the concealer to it and I'm going to carve out my brows what you do is you apply a thin line under your brow and then you drag it down you may want to use your finger to blend it can be more precise than the brush and then you go over the top to neaten up the shape of your brow and then you just blend that line into your forehead I need more product Not everybody carves. It's a um I think it's an Instagram trend to carve the eyebrows. I normally don't follow them but I'll show you up close the complete difference of a carved eyebrow and an uncarved eyebrow. So there's a lot of difference in terms of shape and precision, so Carving is the way forward. So I'm going to carve the other one because now it looks a completely different shape because it's not carved. So there we go, brows are all carved. That's one job done. The first palette I will be using is the Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette. It looks like this on the inside. Gorgeous, huge mirror. Excuse the mess, it's um, very, the shadows get on it all the time. So it's a bit dusty. I'm also going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette. I'm just using one shade out of this though, so you could use any normal black shadow but black market is my favorite black shadow so i'll be using this black market shadow and uh for a cheaper option you've got the redemption palette acid brights by makeup revolution this also has like four shades let me just check one two now it has three shades that'll be useful for you for this look for this look you'll need a couple of um, variations of a green shade. Um, I'm going to be using four green shades, two matte greens and two shimmer shades. So if you have shimmer greens then you're going to be fine with this palette. You're going to need a matte white uh, which the Makeup Revolution palette has and it also has a matte green which I'm going to be using. And you'll need, right, and obviously the black like I said. Right, then you're going to take your bright green shadow from your Acid Brights palette or any bright green shadow that you've got and 
this shade is going to be used as your transition shade so what you're going to do is you're just going to apply the shadow above the crease and blend up to a couple of centimetres before no I mean millimetres a couple of millimetres before the eyebrow and then you're going to leave it blank because we're going to make our own shade to blend that in so all I'm literally doing is applying the colour with sweeping motions like this just until it's all fully blended and all one shade a bit more in the crease okay. right. so this colour is what gives the look its brightness so there we go we've got our nice bright green shadow all blended in there there you go there's a close look I'll give a full look at the end when I'm finished so you can see in depth the eyes right then you're gonna take as much product off on a piece of kitchen roll or tissue that you have just to get the dry product off that's left and you're gonna do you're going to get your white shade that I said we'd need. I'm using the shade Bump from my Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette because it's my favourite white matte shade. And I'm going to be mixing it with the green we've just used, just a tiny bit, to make a sort of mint green shade. And that will be applied under the brow bone. Just really gently applied into the brow bone you might need to pick up some more if it's not showing up pigmented very much on the brow bone right so there we go and then just blend that into the green by bringing it down in swiping motions just like that so it's blended in together just like that there's no distinct line where the, I'm just going to add some more colour back into the transition colour. So there's no distinct line where the dark shadow starts and the light shadow ends. It all just blends in to one, which is what we want. Right, I'm just going to pause and do the other eye. So I'm back guys, that is both sides with the green done. You'll then wanna, want to get your concealer that we've already used and just apply a tiny dot to each eyelid and then just rub it in. This will cancel out any shadow that's already fell on the lid because I don't want it to sh change the shades that we apply next. Right, next you're going to take your fluffy brush again and you're going to take a darker green this time to add into the crease. I will be using the shade Hatta. It is a matte green with glitter in. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. Just tapping off the excess. Right, so there we go. We've got our blending done. You then want to take your fan brush or eyeshadow brush. I don't know why I call it a fan brush. 
just flares out a bit more than the um, fluffy brush and get your black shade that you want of choice lots of people have their own favourite black Done that on both eyes now, so we're going to blend the black into the crease so it's a smooth transition. blended I'm very happy with it I'm just going to close my eyes so you can see right so there you go what you then want to do is you then want to take your other flat brush your flat eyeshadow brush and you want to get yourself a really nice shade that's got lots and lots of glitter in I'm going to be using the Naked palette for this and I'll be using the shade Mean which is this really, let me see if it will pick up on camera, this really glittery green colour. So we're going to be... Also a good technique if you just pat it on the eyelid and not like brush it on. It'll be a lot more pigmented. Right, I think I've done roughly four layers on each eye of that shade and we've got that on both eyes. Which I think is cute. So we'll be a uh, in that I want to add a little pop of highlight on the inside of the eye so I'm going to take bump again and just make a little We're now going to bring the shadows down into our lower lash line. So you're going to want to take your thin edge brush that I told you to use. We're going to start from the tear duct in. So we're going to use the bright green here. And we're just going to pat it on. Get lots of colour on and then... Get the gist and then you go straight into Hatta. We're then going to take our final green shade which we're going to add to the outside V as well. We're going to add this green, it's like a pond scum green shade and it's called 100. Mm -hmm. 
just like that. And there's 100. We need the other eye. Then why I clicked. <laughs> I thought YouTube magic was going to happen, but you know. And see if it works. Oh well. Right, take the dark off that shade. Again. So there we go, we're fixed. You'll want to get yourself a trusty eyeliner. Your favourite mascara. And a coal liner. Which in layman's term is just a crayon eyeliner. And then lashes if you're a lash wearer. I hate lashes so... I don't wear lashes. I don't do the top because I don't want to make my eyes look smaller, so I leave the top without any eye on it. The eyeliner crayon I just used was the Master Smokey by Maybelline. If anyone has a vegan version of this stuff or at well, yeah, vegan animal cruelty version of of um, something similar that's like really dark pigmented because I like my eye products really dark. So if you have a dark version of that that's not going to cost me the earth, I'm more than willing to switch. Right, then I'm going to take my MUA Lux Volumizing Fault Liner. It's like a big chunky one that looks like that. We're just gonna try and make. Obviously this will look neater the more you practice. It's not as neat as I did it the first time, but I haven't got all day to try and get it perfect. Alright, so that is the eyes done. I'm going to give you a close-up of the eyes, so I'm just going to move the camera forward. Excuse the fact there's mess around this one, it still needs charging, but I'll tidy that when I do the... So that's, I am using the New Look Pure Colour Highlight Powder for this, purely because they have the most topiest, lightest, cool tone brown I found on the market and it actually looks good on my skin, whereas anything else doesn't. <laughs> I can't put a bronzing shade on ginger skin, it just wouldn't look right. Right, and I'm going to take just a straight, fat, I think this is meant to be a concealer brush, but it's massive. And then just apply it. I have a brush to blend it out with as well. If you have a round face like mine, the trick to contouring is to put your line on. 
you want to make owl shapes. Highlight. Because it's a green eye look, I'm using a um, the Unicorn Heart Rainbow Highlighting Kit made for unicorns. And I'm just using the red, the yellow and the green because the blue and the pink can be a little harsh. is your I'm going to be using the same eyeliner that I used earlier the pencil eyeliner Right, so I've just applied that all over the lips just because it um, helps with not having that massive pink line like, in between. Because when you rub it, because it's made for water lines, it doesn't look really awful. Right, and then I'm going to take my black lipstick. This is Alien by NYX. It's the NYX liquid sh liquid suede in the shade Alien. And then the last step is just to get the just to get any fluffy brush. I'm going to use the NYX the um no, not the NYX. I'm going to use the naked brush that came with my smoky palette because it has this really fluffy end and I'm going to just then you want to get any glittery shade you have So, it just looks like that. So here is the finished look. 